Yes, and you are. Um, my name is Charles. Please hey, Charles. Call me Chaz. Okay, Chaz. Chaz. Yeah. Well, that was a character that I played in Rugrats. Well, that's right. I played, actually, played Chucky's spells, dad, Chaz. Go ahead. Actually, my my name is C H A S. So is mine. Oh my God, it's me. It's you. It's me. We're the same person. Go ahead, Chaz. Well, um, I got two questions. Go ahead. Out of all the cartoon voices that you've done, which one was your favorite and didn't embarrass you too much? Which one was my favorite and didn't embarrass me too much? Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta be honest, Prowl is one of my favorites because it, uh, Prowl and Lance from, uh, from uh, Voltron and Prowl from Transformers because I didn't have to work so hard and it was, and it was, it was the kind of characters that I would love to have played on screen that I never got the opportunity to play. I was always the sidekick and the, and the, or the crazy guy or the uh, CIA agent or whatever it was, uh, unless it was Three's Company. Then I got a chance to play some stuff. But in terms of VO, that was, those are the characters that I would have liked to play most of because it was easier for me to do and I could relax more and I could, and I could add more. Then I think to do something really departed that was the hardest character but was great fun was a character called Mr. Mucklehoney in Rugrats, which was a series I did in these past 10 years, which was just over the top, a chance to really, for an actor, to eat the scenery and go way out and have a great time. But I don't think I've, other than playing the little girls at Voltron, I don't think I've really ever been embarrassed. And I think the hardest, the real hardest, was a character in, in Humanoids. Um, I played a character, I played a big glob of phlegm, <laughs> as I recall. And they said he has to sound like phlegm, because he looks like phlegm. So I had to work it up and, and sound like, but the, a very funny thing happened, and you ask about, this is funny, years ago I did for Hanna-Barbera, because you know I did the Smurfs and the Snorks and all those things, and I did um, a character that had to talk underwater. And, and I wasn't prepared. With all the background, I'd never done that. And I thought, well, what the hell I do? So I, I, I had a cup of coffee and I read in the script. It says, we'll sound like he sounds underwater. I said, you're gonna do this in post? They said, no, you're gonna do it. And I went, the hell am I gonna sound like I sound underwater? So I went. And they went, wait, 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 what the hell was that? You have to have dialogue. I said, so, uh -huh. so, uh -huh. and I couldn't hock up a good loogie to, to carry for four hours. <clears throat> it was a killer. And after the first couple, and everybody was laughing, and I said, well, no, I'll get this. And I, and I got a few out, and then Frank Welker came in, and he also had to play my, my buddy, who also talks underwater. And Frank did it very simply. And I turned around, and I said, why didn't you show me how to do that? Why did you let me die up there? And everybody was laughing, it was really, you know how to talk underwater? How easy is that? <laughs> Pretty cool. He, he would have been glad to see me drown. <laughs>